What up, YouTubers? DJ Base, 10,000 likes. It's back again. Sorry I haven't posted a vid for a while, but it's not like I really get many views anyway. So, here's uh, another vid on how to use a power supply for your computer. Or for Yeah, not using a P power supply unit off a computer, but instead off Xbox 360. This, as we all know, is a power supply for Xbox 360, a.k.a. the power brick. Which, one of these costs around $100, but I found this one in the trash, so this is why I did it with this one. Anyways, what I did was, I hacked it and cut off the end to it. And what I did was, well, you're probably wondering which wires is going to be in. It's 12 volts as well. I'm getting 16 amps, 12 volts. Uh, the wires that you need is when you take, jerk up the end... There's one. There's a, two yellow wires that go into a clip, and there's two black wires that are connected that go into a clip. All the other wires you cut off, and just use those two. The black one is negative, the yellow is positive. Well, I did that, and it kind of took me a minute to do it. I figured out which ones was what, but then I did. Then I hooked up some thicker 8 gauge power wire to it, because, I don't know, just because the hell of it. And it goes through the end here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Then they're connected, and then they come out there. Uh, well, I might as well show you that it works. Plug it in. White comes on. It's not green, but it's, it's orange. Well, it's kind of a green, orange, red. All the colors are on. Uh, so after you do that, see, we've got power to the amp. And I, but I did, because I'm using this amp in my car, but I want to have a way to test amps in the house. And, well, it works, obviously. Well, you haven't seen how it works, but the amp is on. I just told you how to do everything. Um, so what we'll do is I'll show you guys my Infinities, which are going in my 98 Volkswagen Jetta. And I also got this sub here, but you can't really see it. Let me put some light on it. My Pioneer Champion Series sub. It needs a voice call job on it. But I'm not worried about that now. I'll probably just buy a new one anyways. But I got these two Infinities. $195 a piece. 1,256 watts a piece. And this is a 760 watt. One of the older Sony Explode amps. But this is one of the ones I give you a true 380 watts from each side. So I'm getting 380 watts, which the RMS on these subs are 300 watts. But, let's test it out. Well, I already know it works, but I'm going to show you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play some Young Jeezy so you can see it. Fucking MP3 player is fucked up, it won't even turn down. But it gets the job done. I know you guys are probably going to want to hear put on too. Which I got to admit, that's one of my favorite bass songs. And XO, the guy that just added me on here on YouTube. Your shit is banging. It's good. And hopefully you and Steve Me could pull off something real good. I wish I had the shit that you guys got. I want one of them fucking, one of Steve Mead's new subs. That shit's banging. I want to have one of those, uh, Steve Mead Design says. 
Okay, here we go. Put on. video on how to do this. Hopefully I'll get a lot of hits off it and if anybody else watches this video check out my channel at least. I got some other shit but this is like I thought this was the coolest idea I've came up with so far about this. Um this works but after a while though like if you're sitting there banging it hardcore like I like to hear it. If you bang it hardcore that shit the thing go it'll my amp anyways will go into overcurrent mode. And that means, I don't know really what that means, because I got this amp for free. But I paid $190 for each one of these motherfuckers. Uh, I don't know. And I know people like these out there, guess how much I pay for that? $20. So I'm going to get a voice call redone on it. It's got the dual voice call. It's all that good shit. Well, thank you guys. Please come to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Shit like that. And that's it. So peace out.